What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today is a special day because we reached 20,000 subscribers. Picture 20,000 people in a room. That's a lot of people. So if I do that five more times, we'll be at 100,000. And if I do that 10 more times, we'll be at a million. I know that's going to be a while, but you know, we'll, we'll make it happen. I know a lot of you have been following me from like 1800 or 500 or way back when I made really cringy vlogs. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll make a comeback eventually. I've been thinking about mixing up the content. I know today is normally a what's the trick Sunday where we talk about interview stuff and we're still gonna do that. But I received a package at the door that I had no idea that I was gonna receive. I haven't even opened it yet, but I've been doing Team Treehouse streams every single Sunday and I, the mailman came, I didn't know mail came on Sundays, but apparently the mailman comes on Sundays and he dropped off a package from Team Treehouse. So I'm gonna go get that. This may be Casey Neistat yet. People just send me stuff. I should get a PO box. Hi Josh, we sent you some swag that you can keep on or give away to our YouTube subscribers. Michael, you didn't have to send me this man, um, but this is awesome. I would have never expected anything. I think a lot of people that have been watching the streams have enjoyed the Python um, or at least enjoyed watching me struggle trying to learn Python. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. Oh, snap. Team Treehouse. Pretty good fit. I don't know how you guessed my size, but it, it, it's pretty cool. Some treehouse notebooks. You guys know I'm all about these notebooks. Team Treehouse. It's gonna be the new workout water bottle. Nice. We got this. This is grade A max sticker here. Oh, there's Team Treehouse stuff. Getting too old for this. I'm like only 28. You need to stretch more, Josh. I've never had really anything shipped to me like this before, but you can see I really don't. <laughs> I don't feel like I deserve it, but I appreciate it and uh, all the viewers and all of you guys. So I've actually been thinking about doing maybe some more type interview questions like tell us about this, tell us about that, what's the difference between this and that. I get they're not exactly technical, although you do need to know some like technical gotchas to be able to answer these questions. So that's what we're going to talk about. Um, let's, let's jump into it. So if you skip the intro, what we're going to do next is like... Uh, you know, tell us about your Python experience. What is this in Python? Let's just say you're apply applying to a, a junior Python position. So these are some of the questions that you might get asked. They might ask you, Python is an interpreted language. What does that mean? Well, an interpreted language doesn't have to be compiled. Uh, other examples of interpreted languages are PHP and Ruby. They might say, Python is dynamically typed. What does that mean? Well, that means that you don't have to declare the type of whatever it is that you're typing, right? So you don't have to say this is a string, this is an integer, this is a boolean, this is a float or any of that. You can just put x equals hello in in, a, in like quotes and, and that it's a string and it just knows. So that's dynamically typed. You don't have to specify that stuff. Python can be a little bit slow compared to other languages. What are some ways that you would use to optimize this? Well, you could say, well, Python lets you use C-based extensions. So an example of this would be uh, NumPy for crunching numbers, which can pretty much just remove all of the bottleneck in Python compiling. They might ask you about the dictionary data type in Python. What is a dictionary? And you could say, well, it's almost like an object in JavaScript, assuming you know JavaScript. But if you don't know JavaScript, basically it consists of a one-to-one -one relationship, a key to a value, and it is indexed by its keys. So that's a dictionary in Python, and pretty similar to JavaScript. Another question they might ask you is, what is args and what is quargs? So args, if you have the little asterisk there, and you put that into a function, that means you don't know how many parameters are gonna go into that function. And if you use quargs, that means that you're not sure how many keywords you're gonna be passing into that function, or you're passing a dictionary into that function, and then it can utilize the dictionary. So that's kind of, something unique to Python. What is a negative index in Python and, and how does that work? So if you're going from beginning to end, you start from zero, right? Every index of a, of a list or uh, typically starts from zero in programming. But if you use a negative index, then you're starting at the end of the, let's just use a list in this example. You're starting at the end of the list instead of zero. And that's, that's just how it works. So it can help you kind of loop backwards over lists or step backwards over lists or you know just get the ending value of a list and I'm sure you can do more than that when than, than just lists. So another question they might ask you is the try except else statement. So if you have try except you know if you get an error in your code when does the actual else part run? And so you might say well after the try or 
after the exception, but it actually happens when there's no error. So you have the try, try something, and the on exception, it says, okay, it didn't work, it does this thing, but if it makes it past the try, then it goes to the else. So after it, it, no errors occurred, it goes to uh, try, accept, all right, now do what? So the else is like, after it tries, it does the else. So another question you might get in Python is, what is floor division? So typically division is just a slash or um, you might have the modulo operator, which you know, returns the remainder of whatever you're dividing. But in Python, you have floor division. What does that mean? So that's a slash and another slash. And that will divide, do the division, and then it will floor the output that you get. So if you get 5.2, it will floor it down to 5. So if you divide a number, um, and then you get your output that's 5.2, it will floor the number down to 5. Uh, that can be kind of tricky. I've had to do that a couple times in the Python stream. Um, yeah. So another one you might get is, is a little bit tricky. They'll be like, well, how would you randomize this list? And they'll just give you a piece of code and it will have a list of you know, some places in it. How would you randomize it? So the trick here is like, yeah, you can shuffle, but you need to import the random library. So it's, it's a pretty common library, but you have to import it. So you need to be aware of that. And you'd be like, well, you would just do this. And you try to run it, but you need to make sure that library is imported. So it's kind of a tricky one you could get. One question you might get that's kind of out there is how is memory managed? In Python and so in Python memory is managed what's through what's known as heap space and you don't really have access to the heap space um, that's just all managed kind of behind the scenes underneath the hood uh, by Python itself although there are with with the Python API there you, you can you can get a little bit of, of access to help manage it but for the most part it's called heap space and it's all taken care of under the hood. Python has like a built-in garbage can where it tries to free up space where it can and remove all the other stuff. So uh, a little bit of a under the hood question there. So another question you might get is, are arguments in Python passed in by value or by reference? And so everything in Python is passed in as like an object and all variables are pointing, are, are references pointing to, to objects. So that's the answer to that question. So you might get this question, and this will be the last one for this video, but it, it'll be, what are the immutable and mutable types of data in Python? So in Python, you have three mutable and three immu immutable. So if you don't know what that means, mutable means that it's changeable, immutable means it's, you can't change it. So you have lists, set, sets, and dictionaries that are mutable, right? You can modify a list, you can modify a set, you can modify a dictionary, we have strings, numbers, and tuples, tuples. Those are immutable. You cannot modify those. So that's the answer to that. So that was this video. I hope it was helpful. Just a little bit of a different style, you know, different camera shots, moving things around. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click that little subscribe button. Be sure to join the Discord. The link for that is in the description below. Treehouse, thank you again for sending me these shirts. They fit really well and they're really soft. And then I'll also be doing the giveaway for the stickers and the notebook and another shirt. So. Go ahead and leave your comment down below and we'll, we'll pick one. I should probably do a challenge of some sort, but for this one, just leave a comment and we'll just uh, randomly pick one and then uh, tell me which color you want and I'll, I'll send it out. So before we go, I just want to say thank you to the patrons that help with all of these videos that I do. We have Josh, Flaslow, The Martin Fee, DJ Richie. Recently we had Jane yesterday, Craig W, uh, Louise. I, just, I appreciate everything that you guys do, and that's one of the perks is that I say your name at the end of the video, sell out Saturday, sell out Sunday. Yeah, I mean, I get it, um, but if you've ever considered donating to a random guy on the internet, hey, maybe I'm your guy. Anyways, guys, I hope this was helpful, and I uh, thanks again, Team Treehouse, for everything, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Python stream. Here we go. Give me a break. That's what I'm talking about. Um, you know, pick a pick a color shirt. Do you want blue or do you want black? I shouldn't do this. This is revealing. But I'm not I'm not gonna give away that this is mine. So what we got in here. Is this a bookmark? No, it's just a single wall stainless steel. We got the Team Treehouse bag.